Warning, you are about to enter the BGP suite. No thongs, no boy shorts, no thigh highs, no commandos are permissible. BGP, big girl panties only. So pull up to woman up. And no, please don't leave with your panties in a bunch. Welcome to BGP, and today we will be discussing placeholders. Before we get started, let me just kind of give a brief definition um, of what a placeholder is. Something used or included temporarily or as a substitute for something that is not known. Uh, a person or thing that occupies the position or place of another person or a thing. Um, recently, I, I was watching a clip where... The, the artist Tyrese was being interviewed and he was speaking on his current marriage that was ending and how he's in a new relationship already. And so the lady said, Ooh, well, what steps did you take to like heal? Did you go to therapy? Like, what did you do? And he was like, nah, I just got another girl and I'm paraphrasing, but he was like, I got another girl. And she said, yeah, but no therapy, no healing. No. He was like, nah, I can't, there are some of us that just can't be by ourselves. You know, we we have to be in a relationship with somebody. And so she said, so she's basically going to be your rebound. Is she aware of that? And he said, she know what it is. I made a whole album thanking her for what she do. Mm -hmm. She know what it is, mm -hmm. you know. And so it made me think there are many people, both men and women, that are in the placeholder position. And some know, some don't know that. You could be with someone and you think you're compatible. You think things are going great, but this person is just literally using you to fill a void, basically. And so, before I start getting down with my questions, I'm going to start with you, Adrian. What is your thought on a placeholder when it involves relationships? Not a good thing. However, I think what ends up happening is in order to get over whatever hurt that you're going through in the one relationship, you quickly move into a new relationship to help you get over it. Uh, and what ends up happening, you either pick the same type of person all over again because you haven't learned any new skills of uh, vetting or, you know, uh, making sure that that person is for you. And like you said, it's just filling a void. So it's just, usually it's just, it should be just a temporary thing. I really think that most people need to take some time and some space for a moment before they just jump into a new relationship. Mona? What do I think about a play, being a placeholder? What do you think about placeholders when it comes to relationships? I think they're in a bad situation. Nobody wants to mm -hmm. feel like they're number two. Mm. You know, we oftentimes hear people say, I don't want your sloppy seconds, but you're not even over the relationship. Mm -hmm. So the relationship in itself is not a genuine uh Connection. Somebody is not giving a hundred percent. What? Same question. So, if if you are the placeholder, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you good. If you're the placeholder, you're in a bad spot. It's not. It's not necessarily where I would want to be, but I know for us guys, we 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 do that often. Yes. Blaze. Yeah, I agree. We to me, you're, it's bad on both sides. All right. You know what I mean? Because you're messing it up for this person and you're still not getting your issues resolved and you're bringing someone else into that, you know, into that mess. So it's bad on both sides. And like what said, we do, we do that a lot. Yeah. So let me ask you, cause they, you know, some people always say that men know when they meet a woman, they, they, you guys place us in categories. You already know what it is when you, when you meet us and get to know us, whether it's fuckable, wifeable, relationship, whatever, right? So mm. have you guys, you two, ever met a woman and was like, mm -mm, I'm just going to use this person for, Hit it and quit it, huh? you know, <laughs> just fuck them. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But it's not all the time. It's not 100%, but yeah. And, you know, I guess like y'all have come across guys, this, you know, the same thing where, 
you is something a red flag or energy or vibe or something you're like nah we can do this mm -hmm. but that's it what i'm glad we ain't on live right now because i'm gonna have to explain this damn answer but yeah <laughs> i mean unfortunately yeah we know we, we know we know where they are and who they are and that's what we allow them to be and and you we know that was in the first 30 30 minutes to 60 minutes where mm -hmm. this person is and what their potential could be. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure women aren't far off as the same, you know? And if they're just something to do, that's that's what it is. They're something to do. Do you tell, like, do you ever have, are you guys, oops, let me think about this. Have you ever had it to where a woman asked you, like, why don't where we do this? Going? Or mm -hmm. where, where do we, you know, what direction are we going or this or that? And you don't tell her, you just, you just drag it out for as long as you can because she's in that certain position that you've already put her in. For me, no. Like, I'm going to let you know what's up. Mm. Like, if when we met, I wasn't interested in relationships, but just friendships, mm -hmm. I'm telling you that no matter what we do, how much time we spend, I'm stuck on that. So you catch feelings, that's on you. When you come to me with your feelings, I'm going to tell you. I told you what it was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I let them know. What? I'm not going to say I lie. Because oh, that's shit. what it is. I'm going to say that I'm going to be straight up. We we ha you know a way to avoid certain, right? Certain questions and certain topics. I mean, because nobody wants to hear that they're just good for this. Mm. But that's good for that. Um, so there's a way to answer questions without answering them. So Man, fuck you. I, I can't. I can't even repost this right here. This I'm not reposting this. We gonna leave this one. <laughs> so so basically, what you just said is that you're giving out the pipe and some pipe dreams until you finish with the woman, right? It's not even that. But sometimes you know because nobody even listen. I've been I've met women that I really like. And I realized that this is as far as it's going. Mm. It's as far as it's going. It ain't going no further than this. Maybe she likes to hang out with me. She likes to come over to the house, We whatever. And I, I remember, real quick, I remember meeting a woman, really liking her. We were seeing each other, sleeping together, having a good time. My parents were coming down here to visit. And I said to her, oh, man, my parents are going to be here in a couple of weeks. You know, we whatever, whatever. And she looked at me, and I'm like, what's wrong? And she was like, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not meeting your parents. Mm. I'm like, what? I said, yeah, I don't, I don't want to meet your parents. You know, we're, we're good just doing this. And I ain't going to lie, my mm. feelings hurt. Because I'm so like, what you going to meet my parents? You know, and she was like, yeah, nah, we good just seeing each other. You know, you come over, I come over to your place, whatever. But meeting your parents is too serious. And I, I, I don't see us, I don't see it necessary for me to meet your parents. Mm -hmm. So and it can go both ways. And I oh, was, that was like one of the first times where I was like, oh, my God. She <laughs> don't see me as anything more than just screwing me or whatever. And that's what it was. So but I know what it feels like to be on the flip side of that. And that was like a shock to me because it was like my first time experiencing that. And after that, I was like, fuck it. Everybody do it. Then it can be done to me. Then, you know, it's what it is. Mm. Well, like Blaze was saying, he he was very clear and let, letting a person know that that's what, what it's about. But what if you can see that person catching feelings? Do you break it off? Do you end it? Because you, you feel like... She's gonna get her feelings hurt. Not mm. see, that's tricky. That's tricky. <laughs> How is that tricky? Yeah, right. We gonna keep them around. Nah. You said you're gonna keep them around. I mean, listen. You stay. You stay as long as you stay. That's on you. If you know what it is, you stay as long as you stay. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I mean. If you want to be there after being told this over and over and over, my actions aren't changing. I'm moving the exact same way. I'm showing you nothing, no different. Mm -hmm. it, it's if you want to be there, you you're gonna be there. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, I've had that happen. I told her from the get go, it's nothing. Cool. But she was told some wrong information by somebody else. Mm -hmm. So she thought I was looking for something, but this is only like two weeks in of talking. And I told her like, no, nah, that's not what I'm looking for. 
She was like, oh, well, I am. I'm not. And it was like a mutual walk away. Was this before or after sex? Before. Okay. So it was a mutual walk away, okay. but what's crazy, like, like two weeks go by, and she just randomly texts me. And the text let me know, like, what? So I talked to her, and she came, and we started kicking. We went on, it went on for like a year and a half. And over that time, she would, can we get in a relationship? No. Mm, Why not? Have. No. I told you. Like, it came up several times, but... I just stood my ground until she got to the point of he's serious. Like nothing I can do is going to change him. So she finally was like, okay, I'm going to go find what I'm looking for. Cool. And I, and, and I, I can agree with you on that. I don't have a problem with that. Once you tell me what it is, mm -hmm. if I decide to stay, that's on me. I can't right. say that you led me on. I can't say that you tricked me. This this was my choice. I'm a grown ass woman. And yeah, I, I, I'm digging you. And once I can't get what I want, then I, I bounce and there should be no hard feelings. And if I see you on the street, I should be able to be like, hey, Blaze, how you doing? Give you a nice hug. That's Keep it. Keep pushing. That's mm -hmm. it. That's adults so being gangster. adults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she gangster. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and I understand that men don't like to be uh, a piece of meat to a woman. You know, they they don't want you to be like, hey, can you come through? <laughs> hey, can you come bless me? They, some men don't like that either, so it, it goes both it ways. It definitely does, yep. And so, they get their yeah. feelings hurt, too. Mm -hmm. So have That's you true. ever, Adrian, been in a placeholder position? I think I have, yes. Uh, and not, not knowing, uh, not realizing it till uh, it wasn't ever told to me, like these gentlemen said, they just put it out there and be straight up with it. But then... Um, later on you see or maybe they're with you and they're still trying to get with their person mm -hmm. that they broke up with mm -hmm. and then later on you kind of see that in the mix usually I can usually they're going to change their mind though when they're with me you know? oh okay um, just kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah see that's a good point I, I was going to ask that I'm just playing like, but um yeah it's and it's, it's not a good feeling because you that I rejection does not go over well for me mm. you know and if that's what you feel like like What's wrong with me? You know? And um, yeah, so I definitely have been there before. Would Mama? you say, Blaze? Hold on, because Blaze was trying to say something. <laughs> I was gonna ask that question. Like, it's it's a difference between a person who know they're using someone as a place holder and someone who really don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I can meet you not with the intention of you being a place holder. I meet you, I like you, you're cool, you're vibing. I'm going to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I guess over time, it may just happen to turn into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we don't always know that. We we just figuring it out as time goes on. That is true. Like I said, yeah, there are some instances, certain people, certain guys, where you know immediately, mm -hmm. but sometimes you don't know. You genuinely meet a person, and you get to know this person, and you go deeper and deeper into it, and it's like, oh, wow, like, Maybe I really wasn't into this person like I thought for the right reasons. I don't know if it was a placeholder position. I know that I had got with a man and was in a relationship with him and um, was at his house one day and the doorbell rang and I opened the door <laughs> and in between the door was a, a bar door. And when I opened the door, his ex-woman had a butcher knife and stabbed through the door. Mm, and had geez. that bar door not been there, um, mm. I could have been stabbed in the stomach. So I didn't, I thought that relationship was over. She didn't think the relationship wow. was over. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I was in a mm -hmm. placeholder position as far as she was concerned because she hadn't let go yet. Well, how long, no. were, you, how how long, long were you with the broken up? Right. Actually, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, no, because you might not have been a placeholder for him. You can't base that on how. No, that I'm saying I probably wasn't a placeholder for him, but for her, I was a pl placeholder because so was the relationship over. wasn't over for her. Right. And so but he again, ran out I, the door and chased her down the street, and I had to go to work, and I jumped in his car and went to work, you know, and didn't hear about her after that. But, yeah, maybe I was in a 
How long were you dealing with him when this happened? How long had you been dealing with him? I would say for months, few about three or four months. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. That was fresh. Yeah, that's fresh. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that was fresh. Mm -hmm. Did you even know that he that had just got out of a relationship before you before? He... Yes, I did. Okay. But like Gangster. I say, like I say, some people it's not over some, for, for some, some people, people sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they still. Play, she's cold. the gangster. She don't care. <laughs> I would get you with. <laughs> so I would say for me, um, I've been in the placeholder position. And he did what Wood was describing um, because I started asking questions. I was like, hmm, we only do this. We only move. We go out, but there is no clear answer as to how we're moving you know and so when i started to ask he started to dodge mm. and try to avoid answering the the questions he didn't want to be direct and i'm like a direct person so it's going to be like yes to no yes no, no. what are we doing not no I, <laughs> so when i saw him started to squish up i was like i got my answer and we cut we no longer have a conversation to this day mm. but i've been in that position um, and I just, I just, for me, I just think that we need to be more direct and more honest. Like if you, since, since I'm starting to hear more and more now on these social media platforms that men know what they want and they know what they're looking for and they know how they see you when they, you know, upon meeting you and whatnot, mm -hmm. why not just be honest? Why, why drag the, the person in the placeholder position until you find who you really want to for? People can't Respect. take honesty. Honesty is a is a honesty is we say we want it, but most people don't want honesty, mm -hmm. right? But my thing is, you know, I don't think most people most times actually know what they want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I think you have to be like, I, I'm not going to make it about age, but just at a certain level in life, maturity and. Mm -hmm. You know, your things are set up a certain way for you to know exactly that. For the most of us is you may have an idea, you know, you may have a how you want the person to look or kind of treat you, but that's not really what knowing what you want. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of us just date thinking we know what we want. And then you get into it and you start realizing, OK, I don't want this. Or I don't want this or I do want that. It's not until you're dating most times where you start to really understand what you want, what you don't want. Well, I, I think I'm kind of confused because I'm thinking that placeholder is somebody is not over the relationship. But like you said, Tyree said he he can't be alone. So he goes to get somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'll, I'll give that definition again. A placeholder is a person or thing that occupies a position or place of another person. Okay. Or thing okay. That's all I need. Temporarily. Yeah. So, mm. so right. how how would you know if you're a placeholder? What well, the like how Tyree situation? He is clear. She's a <laughs> he placeholder. made it clear to her that she's a placeholder. And in his so in his situation, you would know because uh, anytime you're in a relationship with a man and he keeps talking about his ex. You're you're in a placeholder position. A another um, example of placeholder is, uh, let's say, a Wood and I talk all the time, and at one point in time, we've been talking every day for months. Mm -hmm. And once a woman talks to a man every day, she gets uh, this type of connection to this man. And so one day I say, Wood, did you ever consider me being your woman? And he says, No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would that would be a placeholder? Yeah, person, she's right? a, she's a, she's an emotional she's an emotional placeholder or, he, or a virtual placeholder because until he yeah. finds, until what, he he finds what he's looking for. She's filling that I'm, void but, but, because she's talking to him all day. Hey, Blaze, run whatnot. it, Blaze, run it, Blaze. I know what you're gonna say. Hey, let me hear. No, I'm just, my question is so for that month, like, are y'all like talking, dating, talking? No, I'm or saying, is it just? I'm Our saying friendship. I'm saying I met Wood, he met me, we exchanged numbers. We've been talking on the phone for months. 
both okay. busy in our day to day um, work life, but we've been having intimate conversations for months. Okay. And then I finally be like, hey, what? Like Nisha said, what is this? Where is this going to go? Mm -hmm. Have you ever considered right. me being your woman? And he's like, no. You just the homie. You the homie. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> that that would be a definition of a placeholder, right? Yeah. Uh, I I would just see that as two people talking. I would consider a placeholder more in a Tyree situation. Like you you got That's out of something, you meet somebody, and you're dealing with them, right? Because and I guess for women it could be a little different. Talking to somebody and everything holds a level of intimacy. I mean, mm -hmm. but shit, if we ain't doing nothing or whatever, we just cool. We cool. Like See, that's what I'm saying. You weren't y'all. Neither one of y'all are trying to get over something. So you're not trying to just talk to this person to get over somebody. Y'all genuinely just talking. So if y'all talking he, for hours, if how do you know? I'm sorry, Disha. How okay. do you know that 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 person is not doing that? Because here's the thing: men and women don't talk every day on the phone unless they are attracted to each other. Usually, mm -hmm. true, true. You see that's what I'm true. saying? Mm -hmm. That's, that's true. true. All right, that's true. That's true. So I don't know I, that you just got out of a relationship. Well, if y'all have been talking for a month, I hope you've gotten that, that okay. much yeah. information I said month. out of I said months, Blaze, not one month. Months. Months? Yeah, you should and, know when he when his last relationship was, if y'all been talking for months. Yeah. So if you're talking oh, to you. some... I'm sorry. If, if no, you, go ahead. If you're talking to someone, right, and let's say you guys are having conversations for hours every day, let's say for six months, right? Every day, you know, you guys are looking forward to talking to each other. You, some throughout your day, you're having conversations and checking on one we another. We just talking? Just yeah, talking, that's listen, all we doing. Listen, every day, y'all, you, hey, I'm just thinking about you. I hope your day is good. Hey, how, how's your day going? Hey, I'm sorry you went through that. You, you, you venting your frustrations to one another. Like you guys literally talk every yeah, day. Yeah. But yeah, I've like, thought about it. But you then you go, life. hey, you ever yeah. you ever considered me for like a romantic prospect? No, you just a homie. Is that person yeah, that's, not just, Yeah, that's messed up. That's, that's messed is up. that person not just a placeholder though? Yeah, yeah. Right? Because they're yeah. they're feeling that need, they're getting that, they're they're having that person that they could talk to of the opposite sex, right? You yeah. guys are expressing yeah. whatever it is you're going through, but then when it comes to the romantic prospect, you're like, nah, I just need you for this. Yeah. You stay right here in yeah. this little box. Because yep. because you might work uh, in the mornings and he might work graveyard mm -hmm. and so you guys can, it's got a it's a fine line of how you can um, get together and you, the person that you really might want to be with or talk to they work she swing shit yep. so yeah. you can talk to me yeah. at a certain time yep. you, you see what I'm yeah. saying so that's a placeholder yeah. right yeah yeah it is yeah. And yeah. what is it that that girl is not doing that's putting her in the position of one place and not the other. Just, like, what and is she's just it? talking because she ain't gave up no ass. That's what the oh, problem is. No. I figured that's what it was. No, see, see, I mean, I don't, that's why she be on your ass. Okay. What the hell be talking to somebody for six months and they just talking? What are y'all talking about? I'm confused. I ain't Look, talking to nobody for six months. I we just wait, so she gotta, is, she gotta give it up for you to, to not be to placed be even in considered. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. No, 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 no. No. Let Blaze talk. Let Blaze talk. I think the number one reason is that person really isn't over, you know, the last relationship. Bingo. Okay. Like that's first and foremost. Like they just not over that situation. Mm -hmm. Two, maybe the only thing that they see in that person is just them being a good listener and a person to vent to. They they may not physically be attracted to them. Or mm -hmm. in those conversations, they may know they're not sexually compatible. Mm -hmm. Or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. I don't know. It or maybe maybe they different. just need somebody to let them know they still got it. Mm -hmm. to, to validate, true too. you know, yep. why why the relationship is over. Maybe true. it wasn't my fault. This woman yep. that talks to me every day, yes. she gives me all these affirmations and she helps me out and... That's a way of them getting some type of therapy using me uh, right. without paying me and mm -hmm. uh, letting me know that I'm right. a right. temporary right. therapist. True. <laughs> can, men, yeah. can men be friends with women they're not attracted to? Definitely. If I'm not attracted to you, it's easier for me to be your friend. 
and you would and you would spend hours and hours talking to this friend that you're not attracted to? Let me get close to the camera because I want to hear this answer. <laughs> yeah, because we're friends. Uh huh. Yeah, no. Like we, I can talk. We're we're friends. Like you said, now if there's an attraction, yeah, I'm gonna have to let you know. Like, look, like it's cool. Us talking on the phone like this is getting late. Like, all right now. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not attracted to you, yeah, we can stay on the phone till the moon come up. Yeah. Oh, what's wow. up? I am not eye that. That's an eye opener. That's an eye opener. But remember now, this is not nobody I'm trying to date or lead on. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. said a friend, mm -hmm. uh, unattractive person. I've let mm -hmm. that person know mm -hmm. we would never be in a relationship or anything like that. And they're like, cool. Mm -hmm. It's really a friendship. Yeah, why not? I'm not, what have I done wrong? Nothing. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I'm uh, I'm not I'm standing on the phone and talking for a long period of time to start with. I, I, damn that. Anybody got to be on the phone. I'm not doing hours on the phone. So I'm certainly not standing on the phone talking to somebody I ain't attracted to. <laughs> Thank that, you. How am I doing that That's for? She your that friend, is... bro. That's your friend. I don't give a fuck. I'm not standing on the phone. <laughs> I don't talk on the phone that long. So I'm right. not doing that. No. No. Can I have friends I'm not attracted to? Yes. Okay. And we're cool. But you know I'm not a phone person. I'm not a phone person. So I'm not standing on the phone for hours anyway. That's just not my thing. I'm not. So no, I don't want to talk to you for hours. I ain't attracted to you. No. All right. No. So let me let me let me twist this just a little bit. Because yeah, you yeah. said she probably in a placeholder because she's not giving it up. So what if she does give it up? And you still like, no, I don't see that romantic prospect with her, but I'll continue to fuck her. Isn't that still keeping her in the placeholder position? Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Mm. Yes. So if the if the if the sex is bomb, she's a good looking girl, y'all have good conversation for hours and hours on the phone. What is it that still keeps her there at that place? They, at, they are over the other person. That mm. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. They're with the other person. Mm. Either that or, or you still have some sort of baggage from that relationship previous or whatever that you're just not over. Right. Because it doesn't always have to be because of the last person. You really could be messed up. And and I've learned mm. over things that have happened to me in the last four or five years, you, your mental health is, is important to yeah. be able to be True. successful in in relationships mm -hmm. and we don't give that enough credit or credibility mm -hmm. right we could just be messed up because mm -hmm. you could have a good person standing right in front of you because mm -hmm. mentally you just can't put it all yeah. together mm -hmm. this person is is you're wasting their time mm -hmm. yeah. can a placeholder be shifted into a situation ship yeah. Oh, yeah. They are a, play, they a are placeholder can shift into a relationship. Do you like, mm. I think it was uh, Adrian. I think you said when it's happened to you, you you turn the tide. Like, okay, yeah, I was this, but now I'm that bitch. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, right. it could turn into a marriage. Sure could. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I think I think down the road you find out. I mean, people do do it, right? Mm -hmm. People marry people, people get with people and still have something else somewhere mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. I think eventually, though, that that that's going to rear its head at some point in time, whether it's by the person mm -hmm. or the other person finding out, oh, this is what this really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I was I was thinking, too, when I was looking at it, you know how we hear the stories of women saying, I was with him for five years we never got married we was in the relationship he dumped me you know he was like he was over it we broke up six months later he's yes. engaged and getting uh -huh. married to someone else yes. and i was like Ooh, oh my god that's because you was he a said, placeholder oh <laughs> that's because she was a placeholder yeah. right he was still looking for that ideal person but while he was looking you will do he this yes. one will do See, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's jack yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I can go with that in that situation. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, final thoughts. Let's let's final thoughts. What's your thoughts, Amy? <sighs> I guess know your position. You Ooh. know what I mean. Know your position, and um, if you can deal with it, deal with it. Um, I think even as a placeholder, there's rules, and there's um, 
boundaries that need to be in place. You know what I mean? You just ain't going to be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, I often wonder, do a, is a placeholder somebody, when you have them around, you, you bring around your friend, how do you introduce that person? You know, oh, this is my friend. Oh, yeah. This is my place. This is my home this is my girl. Yeah. My homie. <laughs> my home girl, this yeah. Homie. So um, I think, and, 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 and they have to be prepared, too, that they may end up getting their feelings hurt. Because if you come for me and we first meet and I'm just the placeholder, this is Adrian, you know what I'm saying? You're going to want me. <laughs> You're going to want me, want me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, there, there could be a time that it flips. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of girls do go into it thinking, oh, yeah, he say he don't want me, but he going he gonna to want me in a couple months. Six months go by. He, he still, Yeah, exactly. So I, my closing thing is I think you really need to know your position and, um, you know, avoid your feelings getting hurt. What? Yeah. Final thoughts? Um, I, I think the same things. You, you got to know what it is. Um, if you don't know what it is, then you need to find out. And if you're willing to deal with that and accept it, fine. But don't ever expect it to change. Yeah. Right? Don't go into something thinking, oh, I'm going to change it. Because that's that. it is what, accept it, move on. If you can't accept it, then 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 keep it kicking. Don't, don't, don't go and think you're going to change it. Right. Blaze? Yep, yeah, y'all hit it on the head. Right, most people think they're gonna change that person's mind. I can do this, treat them this way, great sex, da 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 da, -da and they'll come around. So it's just not trying to ch think you're gonna change that person. Like I say, it is what it is. If you can deal with it, deal with it. If you can't, move on. Mana? Uh, initially, I think you need to ask two questions. When was your last relationship? Mm -hmm. um, the other question would be, who broke up with who? Another question would be, um, how long were you together? Because that's going to gauge how you should move forward with, th with this person. I don't know who said it, but I heard somebody once say that if you've been in a relationship for five years, you need to spend one or two years getting over yourself before or getting over the last relationship before you get into a new relationship. I wouldn't get into a relationship with a man that is separated. Um, you can do it. Like Edra say, you know, you, you think that you, that girl, you can do it, but <laughs> there's always a chance that they can work it out and get back together. So right. I wouldn't get with a person that's newly separated. I wouldn't get with a person that's newly divorced, uh, divorced, um, yeah, you need to find out what's going on, who, who broke up with who, why it happened. And that's going to gauge what position you're going to find yourself in. But if you decide to get with somebody that's freshly out of a relationship, handle your business. Don't take nothing from it. Don't add nothing to it. Know that there's a possibility that you might get the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. That's my final thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm and my scared. final thought would be, um, be direct with your questioning when you're getting to know someone so you know what position to play. Um, if you meet someone that's good at avoiding answering questions, you probably should cut your losses early because you might fall under like the manipulation tactics that some people do. Um, if you're comfortable being in that placeholder position, do it. That's your thing. If that's, if that's what you want. But if you know that's not what you're looking for, if you're looking for a true relationship with someone and this person is not making it clear they're not, they're avoiding it or they don't even see you as, you know, potential or whatnot, cut your losses early so that you don't get your feelings hurt. Because mm -hmm. the more you sit there and invest in a person and with, with no clear cut as to where you guys are going, the more it is, the easier it is for you to fall into that trap, right? And you can't, I mean, you can, but you can't really complain or vent about it later on when the truth comes out and be like, I gave this person a year. I gave this person five years. I gave this person seven years. Yeah, but y'all was never in a relationship. You was just, you, you, you were never in a relationship. You was just, you just was feeling the need. You was feeling that void, whatever it may be, whether it was over the phone, whether it was spending time with this person, you, you provided access to somebody that you shouldn't have, right? Um, be direct with your questions, ask the right questions. Like what Mona said, you know, when you, who ended the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, how mm -hmm. long have you been, you know, single, are you single, single, or mm -hmm. can someone still claim you single? Right. 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 Um, 
what did you do to heal or get over it? Because some people are not really over it. And if you see that that person is still griping, still moping, still upset about it, I wouldn't, I would consider that a red flag because they still need to get over that person. And I mean, you, it's on you to take the time to heal over a relationship. Like there's no like time frame. but if you see that person is still not over it, I would not waste my time. Um, be careful of who you allow access to when it comes to you and your time and your feelings and your emotions. Don't be a placeholder because placeholders don't work out in my opinion. And yes, some people could say that placeholders get married every day, but a lot of times those that end up getting married who happen to be placeholders get cheated on too, you know? Mm -hmm. So be careful. Um, I just wanted to bring up this discussion because I saw again that Tyrese video and he pretty much let it be known that the woman he's with is a placeholder. He's still not over his ex-wife, he, but he doesn't want to be single. And there are some people that are like that. They can't stand being single. So they'll jump relationship to relationship. If you see that person has a pattern like that, cut your losses. And this is VGP. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. Shout out to Wood and Blaze, The Lounge. And um, stay tuned for our next episode. VGP, we out. Bye.